What's happening, family? It's your boy, Big Dick. Welcome back to my Black Universe. If you're looking, I know you're looking like, wait a minute. Ain't that a Black-owned brand on the screen, man? Don't don't tell me this ain't a Black-owned brand. Well, you know, you know how we do it. So, first things first, before we jump into it, hit the like button, hit the share, hit the subscribe, the notification bell. You know what I'm saying? So you can get more of this content now. I didn't know this. I just happened to stumble upon this because my mom came over Saturday, Saturday, the 26th. So she came over early that day. We were chopping it up. And uh, because she was trying to fix her hair, she got, you know, the low cut afro, right? The real low one. And it wasn't looking hot. I was like, yo, what's going on? And, you know, and she had some thinning in certain areas. And she's like, I think it was this or that. And then she told me the brand. She's like, you know, the main choice is black on. And I was like, Let's, let me look it up. I looked it up, you know, and it looks yellow black on, right? You know what I'm saying? You go up and down this joint. All this black women, you know what I'm saying? Melanin popping. You know what I mean? Melanin popping. So I was like, okay, okay. Well, you know, as we've learned from our last expose, if you will. The beauty is in the details. Now, I even, I just don't mind this right here. We'll get back to this, but the beauty is always in the details. So I was like, you know what? Let me come down here. Let me find the what? Not the, not the contact us. It's the our story. There it is about us. Our story. I was like, okay, okay. Let me let me go through here. Reading through, reading through our mission. Cool, cool, cool. Our story. Okay, here we go. This is the juicy part, right? Right. Oh, we, oh, we even do that. He's gonna keep going off into my, into my recording, Kalamar. <laughs> so I was like, okay, all right, here we go. Let's check this out. Right in 2013, not too long ago, right, about 10 years ago, right. Registered nurse Courtney Adelier. I hope I'm not uh, butchering that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big, uh, I'm a big stickler about last names being uh, said correctly. So hopefully it didn't come off wrong built the main choice from the ground up by incorporating her specialized knowledge base with her own curiosity. Cordy's unique healthy product mixes intrigued online viewers. Wait a minute, did I read that? Cordy's unique healthy product mixes intrigued online viewers and quickly garnered her, oh, her mixes, product mixes. You probably could put a comment right there. Uh, <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, it threw me the way the sentence structure was. It quickly garnered her a large following. Her science-based background helped her identify what products and ingredients would render the best result. Results, rather. The foundation based on a on research resulted in premium multicultural healthy hair solutions centered around products that are infused with vitamins and essential and essential nutrients, promoting a healthy hair journey. And I was like, oh, that's cool, but just come on now built the main choice from the ground up right you did it from the ground how you built it i was like well let me let me just do a quick google search right right and so the search i had before this was when no no i didn't ask that first i said who owns the main choice y'all see it out of populated right that's why I say, if you like i said when you go back to the website you go right here see i only paid attention to it this time because this is what i did i went and looked and said my beauty brands i was like oh okay it's their parent organization so i was like well let me let me do let me do something else but you saw it when did courtney adelier a cell main choice number one article 06 10 2020 black owned beauty brand the main choice was quietly acquired last year like i said june 10th of 2020 so that was in 2019 right look at this i'm saying the melanin is popping i see i see so you get into the article the main choice of popular beauty brand for natural and curly hair, hair types was quietly acquired by Mav Beauty Brands late last year. So if you get into this this right here, let me 
save you. She's basically saying that she's a fan and she was shocked and she didn't believe it. Um, until she saw a report from Afrotech. And uh, we'll take you over there in a second just so you can see it's still up. So it was she got look, there was a nice bag in this one. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Look. The agreement which occurred November 2019 came with a cash payout of 29 mil. 29 M, right? Equity consideration of 9 million. So you know that's more money. And up to 52.5 million in cash earnout payments over three years. Courtney will continue to lead the brand she created and has used the funds to create the generational advantage fund in partnership with Mob. The fund commits 30 million to providing financial literacy programs to communities in need. Mm -hmm. Communities in need. That's a real vague term. So she got a nice bag out of it. Um, she's still leading it for now, but you know how that can go. Um, all because you are running it doesn't mean you own it, right? So they can they can push you out in any given moment if they want to. So I and I got issues with that because and I'm glad this art this person wrote the article. Let's let's see if we can get a name. Can we get the name of the person? Eve Lauren. Shout out to the sister. So right down here and I've, and this is the reason why you don't guys don't see Nubian heritage on my channel anymore right so Courtney follows the footsteps of Richard Lou Dennis a founder of Sundial Brands you might have heard of these names Shea Moisture Nubian Heritage Madam CJ Walker Beauty Culture and uh Nikeo Nikeo I'm probably butchering it but yeah, who sold the company to Unilever in 2017 and created the $100 million New Voices Fund, which invests in business owned by women of color before uh, he went to purchase Essence Magazine. And funny enough, <laughs> Essence Magazine has an article on this as well. The main choice is no longer black owned. Here's why. And then it goes and all that. And then here's Afrotech, December 8, 2020. So, yeah look man look i'm i am for us being successful but these things do kind of hurt because um i feel like it's it's two part i feel like it's our responsibility to support these major brands that are really moving like that and to help them build up the capital so they don't have to necessarily get a parent company because that leaves the door open for um uh, us possibly getting pushed out you know what i'm saying just like you you're you're doing so well and then you you sell a huge chunk of the company to a parent company that has way more resources you know which you know gives you more eyes but they have a certain level of control and they can slowly over time just start buying you out and then push you out now it's, it looks like it's us but it's not us anymore and so that's my thing um anybody remember carol's daughter that's the same thing happened there you know you, you get us we, we do great and then we just can't get over that hurdle it seems like there's a particular hurdle that these brands cannot get over you know and I, as much as i love bevel bevel's uh got a parent company now but that's due to not having the resources to compete with like a harry's um like the dollar shave club dollar shave club harry's shave you know they got bigger money behind them so they're in more faces more eyes I, I I dislike it because we spend so much money. We spent 1.6 trillion last year, and there's no reason why we shouldn't be more successful as a group. Because then you can have black folk hired by black folk um, in, the, in a more welcoming environment. You know, not having to be in these hostile environments where you just if you don't work, this is the job you got. And if you don't work, what you gonna do for your children? Right. So that's my thing. You know. Um, shout out to the sisters you know she made a nice bag but i'm thinking about the generational wealth and the generational opportunities that can come with this you know so i don't know her situation uh that's not my business i'm not necessarily concerned about that because this is not the only company that's done that so i'm not gonna put this on this sister right here but us as a community we can do better i'm not gonna say we have to know we can we can do better because we keep saying we have to do better and people to shun away from the idea that you're gonna make me do something so we can do better let's do better family you know what i'm saying let's make black history every month every day every minute every hour peace and black empowerment
Thank you.